A YouTuber named Van Thought Ski captures a scary moment on his GoPro as he rounds a corner and almost makes contact with a pedestrian who, for whatever reason, chooses to walk on the road instead of taking a few steps over to safety on the grass. One second later, another scary moment is caught on GoPro when he has a close encounter with what I suspect is her dog, who cuts off someone else and almost causes a major problem on the road. This video is taken in the Philippines, so I don't exactly know what their laws are like, but this scary event could have been prevented had she been on the side of the road with her dog on a leash. Let me know if what she was doing is legal or not if you are from there. YouTuber Moxley's Crazy Adventures posted this haunted graveyard video in November of 2019 writing, Welcome back to my first haunted graveyard. I went here to see what I could capture if anything at all. What I did capture was insane. Alright, you reeled us in. Let's just hope you deliver. And Moxley does deliver. He captures a dark shadow-like figure gliding across the backdrop of a lit brick wall. He shouts out to it, but it doesn't respond. What the is that? Hello? He later hears heavy footsteps nearby. They're clearly heard in the leaves around him. In the comments, YouTuber Spooky Spectre notes that this thing wasn't moving like a human being, nor did the brush move as it passed by. It also didn't respond when being called out to, or make noise or footsteps. Do you agree with Spooky Spectre? Did this freak you out? If not, then you're one brave cookie. There's nothing creepier than finding extra limbs in your home movie. Published to YouTube in March of 2015 by Patrick Cochran, this video of the haunted Hinsdale House in New York will leave you terrified. Located on McMahon Road in Hinsdale, New York, the Hinsdale House runs tours for paranormal investigators and scare fans alike, as it's known to be one of the most haunted houses in the area. The mysterious history of the place includes everything, from an exorcism to unexplainable events and sightings. Some of these events are recorded in the book, Echoes of a Haunting. Haunting is centered around the Dandy family who lived in the home with their kin in the 70s. The family claims a number of spirits visited them during their stay, and they even had a priest come on more than one occasion to perform an exorcism. The house went out though, and the Dandy family eventually fled the haunted place. A number of other families made attempts to call the Hinsdale house their home, but no one stayed for long. The present owner, Daniel Clays, doesn't live in the home, but allows paranormal teams to investigate the home. This video may show an investigation, or just a regular ghost tour. The group wanders through the haunted house in the darkness, which is creepy enough as it is. Then, around 2.36, you see it. A strange arm swings into sight in the darkness. What is that? It certainly doesn't look human. YouTuber Tommy Poo writes in the comments, Of all the countless videos I have viewed on YouTube and other social media sites since 2009, this is only the second where I believe visual proof of paranormal entities has been digitally captured. YouTuber Tai Chiman adds, I was involved in the paranormal investigation show as a special guest star at the Hinsdale House two years ago and it has plagued me since with negative activity around me and my home. It seems Tai was certainly not alone in his experience. There's a reason no family ever lasted long in the Hinsdale House. Could you? Me neither. A South Korean ghost hunter named Tosachi is exploring a haunted house where seven people met a fateful end, including a husband and wife. The inside is weird and creepy in his words, and give the paranormal investigator goosebumps to explore. He knows that multiple spirits are close, he can sense them, and then one of them gets his attention. Oh, yeah. Faint knocking sounds behind him are from a ghost at the window begging to be let in. This relic is keeping them away. It's a stick with thorns which, in South Korean culture, is said to keep the spirits from entering when placed above the entrance. Isso, isso. Isso, isso. 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 Every time he tries to go outside and catch a ghost on tape, his motion tracking software keeps freezing, a sign that they are near. The spirits are waiting for him to remove the relic and let them back inside where they belong. 
He removes the stick and waits. They walk in through the front door. And he feels a rising horror as one passes through him. Oh! But unfortunately, his paranormal equipment continues to shut off just before the ghost sighting is caught on tape. Finally, when he gets it back on, a ghost appears in the dark hallway. There is nothing on the screen to mistake for a person, just total darkness, and yet the ghost hunting equipment identifies a mysterious shadow figure moving past. And when Tosachi returns to the window where he heard knocking noises before, he sees another full fledged ghost figure in the window. At 19 minutes and 20 seconds, it stands in the hall, apparently glad to be allowed inside again. It climbs up to sit in the window and, at 19 minutes and 29 seconds, appears to wave hello. Scary, right? A man in India has caught some scary moments on video when this happens to him at 2.22 a.m. That could have been done with a string, but this wasn't. Tell me if you think this was real or just acting because it kind of looks like something paranormal actually might have done that to him. Ghost investigations are even scarier in another language. In this video posted to YouTube in December of 2018, ghost investigators attempt to infiltrate an abandoned house that we can only guess is haunted. At least it looks that way. While exploring the home, the investigator keeps hearing things moving, debris being unsettled, and from the way he's jerking his camera around, it seems he's sensing movements around him. <sighs> What is in this home with him? The place appears as though someone just picked up and laughed. It's covered with debris and looks like it was abandoned in a state of chaos. While creeping around some upstairs room, the ghost investigators appear to sense someone or something, and that something grabs a hold of him. It's clear he's struggling with a force in the home. He tossles with it and for a moment is dragged backwards by the force before he escapes, racing out of there like his life depends on it, which it probably does. What is going on in this video? Is there any explanation as to what pulled this ghost investigator backwards? It certainly looks real to me. For fear of knowing, don't answer. After all, I don't think 99% of people could handle the answer. Oh, so. Carter is making a YouTube video to show off his expensive new roof, but he accidentally catches something lurking inside his home during the process. That's right, new roof. Shingles were delivered today, old roof was torn off yesterday. New roof will be put on tomorrow. A giant oversized face is staring directly at Carter. Through his own window on the left hand side, you can see its eyes, mouth and nose have been shaded perfectly to form a ghoulish expression. I've watched this video many times and I still can't tell if this is truly the face of a ghastly creature or just a reflection of trees outside. If it is a reflection of a tree, then I find it weird how the leaves or branches don't seem to be moving at all. It really does look like an unblinking face staring straight ahead. Carter does not seem to notice and continues filming for quite some time. An urbex YouTuber called RNK All Day is exploring a creepy building that used to be a funeral home before it was abandoned. The funeral home is not haunted per se, at least not from what I can tell, but what they find is every bit as scary as any ghost video you'll ever watch. You see, a long time ago this North Carolina establishment was shut down because of improper business operations. People were not notified about their loved ones in a timely fashion, and the remains were often not stored properly at all. 
As RNK All Day explores the abandoned building, he finds evidence of their misdeeds laying out in the open. Sitting in a battered cupboard box on an old altar is a discarded plastic bag full of what appears to be ashes. There's no way to tell if these are the ashes of someone until you look at the box that definitely says cremation services. If this is what we think it is, which I think it almost definitely is, then they should be properly placed in an urn, not out in the open like this. And if there are more items like this lying around, then maybe this building is haunted after all. If you're going caving, do it at the right time of day. Posted to TikTok by Andrew Smith, this caver found out the hard way that underwater caves have a high tide. As the cave fills with water around him, he has nowhere to go. The water comes rushing at the staircase as the cave continues to fill dramatically. We can assume these cavers made it out alive enough to post this video, but most in the comments say they're goners just watching this. I seriously hope everyone was alright. Mohammed bin Name has caught a flurry of weird things on camera that I think needs to be more closely examined to see if it's paranormal. <laughs> He chooses to investigate the slamming door in the room ahead instead of the breaking glass downstairs. It looks like a ghost is slamming the door, but look again. Approximately 29 seconds is when you can see him try to grab the door unseen, but unintentionally showing his hand in the process. He is slamming the door himself, I'm 99% sure. This video, while possibly fake, is important to show because I think it could shed light on the other ghost hunting videos like this. The camera person could be reaching out with their hand and slamming the door, but I guess we'll never know for sure. A YouTuber named Lightwatch captured this strange sea creature sighting on GoPro while exploring the beach with his friends. The shapeless yellow creature looks somewhat like a star fish except it is too light and thin. This thing is paper thin and seems to kick against the tide. The friends are smart enough not to handle the sea creature just in case it has some kind of deep sea toxins waiting to do them in. I have no idea what this weird thing is, but I wonder if it's part of something larger that got devoured. Give me your best guess as to what's been caught on tape. If you ever crept through cemeteries looking for ghosts, then you might regret finding them. This video was posted in March of 2012 saying, been taking video of local cemeteries for a while and examining them from frame to frame. Found the image of what looks like the ghost of a young boy from around the early 1900s by the way he is dressed. The video was filmed in Kinder Cemetery. And as the sign reads, the cemetery was established in 1902, so plenty of time for ghosts to lay down their claim. As the camera pans the cemetery, you can see a short-lived flash of light near a grave. Can you spot it? While well, some in the comments of this video doubt that it was anything more than a flash, others like YouTuber Dang Cho claim to see hair sticking out of the red circle. YouTuber Yvette Sanchez notes that it is an apparition. Of course, the ghost is not going to be easy to spot, but if you look hard enough, you can see something is there. Well, you can certainly see a flash. It's a bit of a stretch to say the ghost is of a young boy from the early 1900s in my opinion. You can't really make out anything more than the light. But what is that glow? Is it the young spirit shining? Or is it just a trick of the light? Is someone there? Post it to the ghost's subreddit. Resurrect writes, the De Soto Mine in Arizona is the creepiest place I've ever been. At the time this was taken, nobody else was there. Yet, listen closely to their recording. From deep within the mine, you can hear footsteps walking on what sounds like wooden planks. The Redditor says in the video that his eyes are playing tricks on him, but he writes that they didn't hear anything but water droplets at the time. They only heard the footsteps later as they watched the recording back. I really hope it's not my eyes playing with me, but like... 
Is something in this tunnel with them? Some in the comments think it's paranormal. Others suggest the water droplet theory, which is that the echoing of water droplets can distort to the point that they sound like other sounds. What do you think? Is this nothing but distorted water droplets? Or is something at the end of that dark tunnel? John of a paranormal channel called Exploration Unknown investigates an abandoned farmhouse late at night. He and two other ghost hunters split up and then reconvene downstairs to discuss what they found, which was little more than some empty rooms and loose steps. The floors upstairs are pretty spongy. I, I did it, but oh, I doubt it. After talking with Tim, John walks through the first floor, and at 11 minutes, a shadow figure is caught on tape moving above him. We've got the K2 meter over here in this window. We're getting things set up. All right. And then in here, we got Josh on the porch. It's not Josh because Josh is on the porch outside, and it's not Tim because they just had a conversation about how dangerous the floor was up there. And for some reason, the legs remain covered in darkness, even though enough light hits the area to show the banister is brown. So there's a strong chance that this ghost video is real. A YouTube channel called Barb's Buzzin takes a chance buying a fish off the dark web. Whoever sent this blacked out the bag so we can't see what's inside. Anything could be in there. Maybe even something dangerous. Or maybe it's just sensitive to light? At first, First, it looks like nothing is there, but then they almost pour the slimy mystery pet onto the floor by accident. Got it done quick. There's no fish in here. There's no fish. There's nothing in this. What the f they aren't sure if it's even alive until they see a tiny circular object moving in the center. They think this could be a shark egg, but I just want to be sure, so take a look and let me know what you think this bizarre gift could be. Absolutely insane. Look at his head right there. He's, le he's, board, he's legit the swimming part. around. I definitely see a striped tail at the very end, so maybe it is a shark and not something super nefarious after all. What you don't know can't panic you, right? Posted to Reddit, the uploader, Jason Green 3 explains in the comments on April 25th, 2013. At about 9.20 p.m. local time, an unknown object at low altitude flew directly across the Rafael Hernandez Airport runway in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, causing a delayed departure of a commercial aircraft. Green continues on, explaining that this infrared video on the thermal imaging systems of the CPB DHC-8 aircraft was captured by U.S. authorities. This video is reportedly obtained legitimately by an anonymous source. According to their information, the object, between 3 to 5 feet wide, was flying around various speeds between 40 and 120 miles per hour with an 80 mile per hour median speed. When it entered the water, its speed did not slow down or demonstrate obvious impact, traveling at a similar average speed as it had in the air. Upon entering the ocean, the object spilt, re-emerged for an instant, and then both pieces traveled at the same speed. The Redditor writes that there's no known origin for this object and no clue as to what might travel at these speeds through air and water. At least one Redditor suggests it's a weather balloon, while most others accept that this is an unidentified flying device. What do you think this could be? And are you panicked? Don't leave your fun up to an app. It might take you on a journey to your demise. Published to TikTok by Stephen Donovan, he explains that he was using the Randonautica app to direct him on a random adventure. For those who are unfamiliar with Randonautica, the app delivers a set of local coordinates supplied by a quantum random number generator. In doing so, users are encouraged to explore the unexpected. Stephen's coordinates certainly delivered. Here's what happened. Randonautica sent these two on a dirt road through an abandoned ghost town. Creepy mannequins are standing in the windows of the empty wooden buildings. 
The mountain roads take them past empty cars parked on the shoulder. However, no one appears to be in the area. They pass a sign that reads private property, but they ignore it and continue up the steep, narrow road. It's getting dark and they are now on foot. The pin is pulled up and they are getting close to their destination. That's when they see it. We had the pin pulled up. We were so close to it. Dude, and this what happened. The how to explain this. Something rolls down the hill from a broken structure, and in that structure, they see what looks like a melted face. They take this as their cue to leave. TikToker Rachel Chun surmises, watch those cars be the ones left behind by the random knots that never left. Steven notes that he deleted the app after this misadventure. After this, can you blame him? Years ago, everyone was talking about a possible witch sighting on the side of the road in India that went viral. Now a second scary video is making rounds, this one possibly taken from around the same area. An older traveler with a cane appears to be walking down the middle of the road at night in bright white robes. As the driver gets closer, he is surprised to find the strange man is taking steps, but not moving forward almost like a ghost. Tell me what they are saying here, because they sound excited and I would really like to know what their real reaction to a ghost sighting was. <laughs> then the strange figure begins to walk backwards in slow, jerky movements, without so much as even looking behind him once. This is probably one of their friends, but if they actually caught a real ghost on camera, like they think they have, then I guess the paranormal apparition would have no reason to fear cars. And after all, the worst has already happened, and now this feeble ghost is forever forced to explore the haunted road where potentially its life came to pass. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Angelina is with some friends, and they are exploring an abandoned house that was apparently the scene of some very horrible events. The house is certainly creepy, and as they explore, the video has a feeling of unease, almost like something could pop out at any second. But it's at the 9 minute and 32 second mark when Angelina's friend looks into a dark room that things get beyond strange. She sees something so creepy, it sends her leaving with a high-pitched scream. Oh my god. Inside the room is basically a spider fortress, with webs covering almost every inch of the room. I feel bad for any future urban explorer who accidentally walks into that room, especially if you have a fear of spiders. This would be enough to scare you for life. If you're going to cage a phantom, you're going to need a bigger door. Posted by Wokayahoga. This footage shows you can't keep a ghost locked up. The hunters are holding an EMF meter toward a locked set of doors. After a moment, something pounds against the door and then rattles it, trying to get out. I'm not sure what the context of this video is, but one thing's certain. Whatever's inside is not staying there. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.